Hi everyone, and in today's video we're going to be doing a deep dive into Word Builder to help you phrase those sounds and words more effectively. Hi, I'm Ewan and welcome to Ewan Smith Music. If this is your first time here and you would like to make your music masterpiece, then please don't forget to hit subscribe as well as the bell notification so that you get informed of when I next upload a video. I've had lots of questions about East West's Word Builder feature within the Play plugin and that's something which I've been dabbling around with and hopefully this video is going to help show you a little bit more information. Of course, I will leave that previous video up in the top right hand side as well as down in the description below. Well worth checking out that video if you want to have a little overview as to what the Word Builder plugin is. So over in Logic then you can see that I've managed to load up a track and I've also loaded up an example of the Play plugin. You'll see that I'm hovering over one of the sounds here and I'm going to select Hollywood Choir's Diamond and I'm going to choose the Men WB Multi. WB stands for Word Builder. This will not work in any of the other groups of sounds that you can see here. I then click Add. I'll wait a few seconds for that to add. Okay, now some of the questions I had was, I don't know where the Word Builder is, how can I access it? Well, quite simply, once you've loaded in your sound and you can see that it's loaded down here into the keyboard, then what you do is you have to click on Player, the top here in the menu. So once you've done that, you will then be able to see the Hollywood Choir's plugin. Over on the top left-hand side, you will see Word Builder. Quite small, but certainly quite clear. It'll be lit up. If you click on that, it will then take you into the Word Builder and you'll be able to see that there is three different sections down here on the left. We're going to use the English form up here. We've got our new beginning. I'm going to show you what that sounds like now. So you can see in here that that's fairly standard sound. Now we're going to try and tweak this to make it sound even more realistic. I would highly recommend that you download in the description below and certainly on the screen now this link to this particular document and it will show you how to master the phonetic alphabet. All of the reference points are in there so this will help you as you are using Word Builder. <laughs> Not too bad as a starter for six. Let's say you wanted to change the word new. So in my ears, the way I would sing new, a new beginning. Some choirs would sing that. Some would sing a new beginning. <laughs> what we then do is we can change that. So at the moment, we've got different options. So if you wanted to sound aw, like as an orange, which we don't, you would use a small o. If you wanted it to sound more like oo, as in blue and pool, you would use different versions, one of which is u apostrophe. So let's try that. <laughs> let's see if we can change it to a different kind of oo sound. So we're just going to have it as the original, which was just a. <laughs> which is okay. Or we can choose it to have it as a capital O. So you can see which of those versions you would like. Notice I'm using the small case. So next we're going to have a look at the G of Ginning. And what you can do is you can click on each of these words and you'll be able to see here that when I click on each section, you'll see over in this section here, you'll see the different plosives, the different letters that appear. G sounds quite strong. We can then change the length of that over on the right. And we can then make that sound a bit shorter. So it sounds less harsh than the original versions. Before that we've got the A, so if you didn't want the A to sound too long, we could shorten that as well. So if you wanted to try and create different effects, or so staccato effects and things like that. Well I would like to hear more of the ing at the end, so what we can do is we can then select the ing, the ing sound got the I and the N and the G. So... Well, I would strongly recommend looking at the kind of sounds using the Word Builder reference file, which I'll leave in the description below. And secondly, I would look at how you can shape some of these sounds using the certain syllables and letters lengths at the bottom as well. Just a little point to note that not all of the choir patches that East West offers supports the Word Builder feature. For example, Voices of Soul, Voices of Passion, 
Voices of Opera do not have a word builder feature at present because they are mainly for solo vocals and the word builder feature only supports the choirs, the ensemble features where that's applicable. Let's go and try an example in backup singers and we can see how we can shape the sounds there with the different types of voice. <laughs> Obviously by playing you will change the lengths, but obviously you would want different sounds. So if you think we don't hear the f on feel, so we have to try and make that a little bit stronger. We could extend the F and we can maybe reduce the E. Extend it to I think for me the I of my, the Y, would be good to extend as well. You'll see that we can then fade these in and the way you would change this would be you can either extend these ones and you'll see that it crosses over. That's very good and I think this We could shorten it even more than that. Let's see how this sounds. Much, much better. And let's make more of the L of soul. So we click on the L. Maybe we don't want it to fade out as quickly. So again, we're just elongating that. See how that sounds. Much more realistic. There are the stock phrases that you can use. Phrases are specific to each library. So you can see in the case of the backup singers, you've got various phrases, pop phrases, soul phrases, common words and gospel phrases. If we go back into the previous track, so we go back into the male multi track and if we go into word builder, you'll see there are far more phrases that you can call upon. Spanish phrases, English phrases, Latin, German, Italian backup. And you can see the backup singers as greyed out because it's specific to that particular library. Basically take the feel it in my soul and then add to phrases and here you can just give your file a name, give it a place to store it and then you are good to go. Again if you are writing large scale choral works obviously you might want to plan out your lyrics but then if you paste them all in and you just have a playthrough like I have done what you'll then be able to find is if you can make it even more realistic. Everyone's ears are different so some might find the sound straight out the box quite good and some of them are. So hopefully by now that gives a much clearer overview of how you can then tweak the sounds in Word Builder and don't be afraid just have a go. If you have any more questions especially as the Word Builder video is fast proving to be one of my more popular videos on my channel then hopefully some of these little demonstrations and tips have helped you if they have please drop a like a thumbs up down below and if you've got any further questions then please do drop those in the comments too and i will answer every single one of them and i look forward to seeing you next sunday at 2 p.m gmt thank you very much for your kindness and your support and we'll see you in the next video cheers for watching bye